Good morning and greetings of peace all. Uh, this is Sumaya Khalifa, Executive Director and Founder of the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. It is the uh, speakers, ISB or the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta's pleasure to bring to you morning inspirations and uh, we will be doing that, God willing, every morning. And this morning we are very, very honored to have Imam Mansur Sabri uh, with us to speak to to speak to us. Before we have Imam Mansour address us, I wanted to take a minute and if each and every one of you would think about one thing that they are most thankful for today. One thing. And if you could write it down on a piece of paper, uh, that would be really great. Just give you a minute to do that. Hopefully you all have written that down. And uh, one thing that I heard yesterday by um, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, he was saying that uh, we should be even very grateful and thankful for even our eyelashes. Uh, mm -hmm. So we need to be really thankful for so many different things. And in time of trials, like we are going through right now, we need to be remembering everything that we, uh, we take for granted, but we should be thankful for. Having said that, let me turn it over to Imam Mansur Sabri. Imam Mansur is a pillar of the Atlanta community. Uh, he is the director of Iman Atlanta, and Iman is a green reentry organization uh, here in Atlanta, and they do have a um, Iman Chicago as well. So Imam Mansur, I wanna thank you for being with us this morning, and I also wanna thank you so much for all the work that you are doing to make our communities and our city and state and country a better place. So uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Alhamdulillah. Um, the praises for God. Thank you, Sister Samaya and, and everyone who's joining us this morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, with God's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, we call on his mercy. We call on his guidance and assistance. Um, I, want, I want to begin with uh, just that same idea that um, Sister Samaya started with, and that's, that's uh, affirmations of gratitude. Um, interesting that um, as I thought about the things I'm grateful for this morning, the first thing that came to me was my eyesight, uh, my sight and my hearing. Um, so I, I, I thank the Creator, I thank Allah Almighty for um, and show it and express my gratitude for being able to see uh, this day uh, to be able to hear. I think I'm thankful and I'm grateful for my children, my wife. I'm grateful for my home, for my community. Uh, and I'm really grateful for this opportunity um, to share and a reminder. Um, during these, these challenging times and dealing with, with crises and struggle, I think that there's one response and that's one response only that we should lead with. And that is in our Islamic tradition and in the tradition of spiritual beings. And that is to keep God consciousness first. So taqwa, that this is an opportunity and this is a, a moment where taqwa should be what we lead with. Taqwa should be what we remind ourselves and what we remind others with. The word itself is a powerful word, and I use it in its Arabic form so that we call on its many different meanings in the English language. Taqwa meaning consciousness, consciousness on God, thinking on God, being reminded of his reality um, in our lives and in the lives of others, that he is the creator, the most high, the guardian evolver, the sustainer, the one who provides, the one who takes away. There's a beautiful verse in the Quran that teaches us and talks about the reality of Allah, the creator, God Almighty. And it says in Surah 6, verse 59, as our reflection reminder, short reminder this morning, it says, with him are the keys of the unseen, the treasures that none know but him. He knows whatever there is on the earth and in the sea. Not a leaf falls without his knowledge, there's not a grain in the darkness or in the depths of the earth, nor anything of fresh green or something that withers, but it is recorded and documented by him. 
this reminder, this reflection is really around that idea of Allah knows everything. Allah knows all things. Allah knows where we are in our state and our being. He knows the condition, the challenges that we're facing individually. He knows that uh, we are in states of gratitude and, and gratefulness. And he knows when we're in states of, of deep um, apathy and, and, and even anger and discomfort. So Allah, Allah knows our condition. And so when we know that we're not alone and we are, we're being witnessed by him, then we, we will respond in a different way. This is a beautiful month. This is the month of Shaban, the month that precedes the, the blessed month of Ramadan. And all throughout the Quran, when it teaches us about this moment of Ramadan, of fasting, that it teaches us that this is an opportunity to gain a higher consciousness, a higher and greater closeness to Allah the Most High, to the Creator. And so we do that through fasting. We do that through increasing in our prayers. And it really shines a deep light on the reality of how spiritual we are before we're physical. And that we have an inward life and an inward con concept of self before we have this outward concept of self. So to be grateful and to show and express gratitude for my sight, the things that I can see, for my hearing, to show gratitude for my family, the, the people that I love and I can touch, first begins with an inner love and consciousness of who I am, my spiritual being, my being that is connected to the Most High who created me. So the taqwa of this moment is so important. The consciousness on God's control, His reality, His presence in our life is so important in this moment. There's a great and beautiful saying that I, I wanted to reflect on this morning, and it says that um, and, and it's, a, it's a beautiful reminder uh, about when you're in crises. And uh, it says, great occasions do not make heroes or cowards. They simply unveil them to our eyes, silently and imperceptibly, as, a wake, as we wake or as we sleep. We grow stronger or weaker. And at last, some crises show us who we have become. This is, this is a, um, a re reoccurring idea about who we are deeply, who we want to be in moments of crises, that there is, there is a moment here for us to truly shine and be our best selves, to show up for our neighbor, to show up for our family, to show up in our best character as human beings to provide a great way uh, of, of existing in the moment of crisis, that it will reveal who we are deeply. And so in consciousness on the creator, we, we're reminded about the beauty in which he's created us. He, we're reminded about the strength in which he has created us, that our taqwa, our God consciousness, truly reflects upon us a deep sense of understanding of who we are in, in our image, in our and our being in the way in which the creator god almighty has made us and we're responding in a way that is beautiful we're responding in a way that calls on our best selves we're responding in a way that really even has patience in moments where patience may be difficult i know that we've been struggling with some who have come on to this line with maybe ill intent but we are those who persevere and we move forward and we move forward with patience and perseverance to the job is done and I commend Sister Samaya and the team for really making sure that this continues on and that no one disrupts um, the work and the reminder of, of God and consciousness around him. We want to be reminded no matter what's happening around us that he is real, his reality in our lives is powerful and he can move mountains if we so ask for him to move those mountains. So we thank you all for joining us this morning. That, that reminder is all about taqwa, reminder that we should be remembering God in this moment and staying focused on the bigger matter at hand. May Allah be with us. May Allah give us the blessings of this day. May he give us an opening that shows us the opportunities and the successes of this day and make us of those who are steadfast and persevere. Ameen. Ameen. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much, Imam Mansour. That was so beautiful. So let's concentrate on the message that Imam Mansour mentioned. Why don't we close our eyes, please? And we're going to be thinking about our breath. 
which is another thing that we should be very thankful about. So as we breathe, taking a deep breath in, letting it out, we need to be thinking about God consciousness, about taqwa. Keep on breathing. Let's think about all the amazing things that we have going for us. our health, our family, the food that we have. The homes that we have, all our friends, and much, much more. Let's take a few more breaths. Follow your breath as it goes into your body. Check in with your different body parts. Be very present for yourself. Remember the words of Imam Mansur, how going through hardship is gonna make the best out of us, God willing. Take a final deep breath in and out. Want to thank you for being with us this morning. And thank you, Imam Mansour, again, for your beautiful words of inspiration. And thank you to the ISB team. And we look forward to continuing our conversation. May God's peace be with you and carry you through today, through the week and throughout your life. Assalamu alaikum.